In 2026, the United States has entered a new frontier of warfare technology, unveiling its most powerful and advanced laser weapon system to date a technological leap that promises to change the battlefield forever. This is not science fiction. This is real. It's a weapon that doesn't fire bullets or missiles it fires beams of concentrated energy at the speed of light. And what's more interesting? The same innovations that power this laser system are influencing the automotive world in a way we never imagined. Welcome to a world where defense technology meets cutting-edge car performance, and America is once again leading the charge. Let's start with what makes this 2026 laser system so revolutionary. Known as the Helios X Ultra Deuce A Directed Energy Weapon System aids mounted on naval destroyers, land-based mobile platforms, and even some experimental aerial vehicles. It generates over 500 kilowatts of focused laser power, making it capable of disabling or outright destroying enemy drones incoming missiles, aircraft, and even satellites with pinpoint accuracy and zero collateral damage. Unlike conventional weapons, this laser doesn't run out of ammo eh? as long as it has power, it's ready to fire. The heart of this laser system lies in a new generation of compact fusion-powered capacitors that allow it to charge and discharge ultra-high energy levels in microseconds. This tech is a game changer eh? not only for national defense but also for the auto industry. You see, in the race for electric vehicle supremacy, efficiency, rapid energy transfer, and thermal management are critical. And guess what? The thermal cooling systems developed for this military laser are now being adapted for high performance Fs. Let's break this down. The U.S. Department of Defense partnered with Tesla Energy Labs and Raytheon to develop a phase-shifting fiber laser system. This allows multiple lower-powered beams to combine into one mega beam without losing power density or accuracy. Now imagine applying that kind of precision to your car's electric driver terrain. In fact, the 2026 Tesla Roadster Fusion Edition, which was just revealed in concept form, uses a similar energy regeneration and dissipation loop designed originally to manage heat output from the Helios X laser system. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Back to the laser. Unlike traditional weapons, the Helios X doesn't require any projectile. Once locked on to a target, it delivers a continuous beam that superheats and melts through the target's outer shell in seconds. In recent testing, the system was able to track and destroy 10 out of 10 hypersonic missiles moving at Mach 5.8 within a 3-minute simulation of feat no kinetic weapon system in the world has achieved before. And it did so with near zero operational noise and zero recoil. Now, here's where the crossover gets exciting. The military-grade gyroscopic stabilization system used to keep the laser locked on fast-moving aerial targets has been reverse-engineered for use in ultra-high-speed vehicles. In 2026, Dodge announced its new Charger SRT Vortex X, which includes a military spec active stability assist system powered by a LIDAR-based spatial tracking suite. This system was originally designed to help Helios X maintain beam accuracy aboard a moving naval destroyer in stormy conditions. In a vehicle, it translates to superior cornering, lane centering, and launch control at speeds exceeding 200 miles per hour. Let's circle back to the weapons energy system A because this is key. The laser requires an astonishing amount of instantaneous energy. Traditional batteries just wouldn't cut it. So scientists developed a dual layer superconductive capacitor array, which stores and delivers electricity at speeds faster than lithium ion batteries. These capacitors can fully recharge in under 12 seconds using quantum pulse modulation, a technique that reduces energy loss to near zero. This capacitor tech has found its way into the Lucid Aero Volt R. 
an experimental F project that bursts a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 1.6 seconds a thanks in large part to the laser capacitor inspired energy management system. Lucid's engineers claim it can go from 0 to 80% charge in under 4 minutes using a commercial grade wireless charging pad. That's not a typo a 4 minutes. Meanwhile, back on the military front, the Helios X is now being deployed aboard the USS Roosevelt, a new Zumwalt class stealth destroyer that's fully autonomous ready. The laser is mounted on a 360 degree rotating gimbal with AI predictive tracking software that uses satellite and drone data to pre-lock incoming threats. Essentially, it can shoot down an incoming object before the human operator even notices it's there. The AI software that drives this system is also being trialed in level 5 autonomous driving prototypes from GM's Blackwing division. And the crossover doesn't stop there. The heat dissipation system developed for the laser ray using liquid diamond nanotube cooling loops A is now being miniaturized for track focused electric cars. These cooling loops can drop core temperatures by over 30 degrees Celsius in under 3 seconds. In cars like the upcoming Corvette E-Ray Z06 Plus, this allows for longer performance bursts without thermal throttling. Engineers claim the tech provides 30% more battery longevity and 25% more peak output per lap on the track. Let's pause for a second to appreciate what's happening here. In 2026, we are witnessing a merging of military and civilian technology unlike anything we've seen before. War tech is influencing how we build faster, cooler, more efficient cars. The battlefields of the future are pushing engineers to solve problems that the streets of tomorrow will benefit from. Meanwhile, Helios X has been tested in desert, mountain, arctic, and sea environments. It works in heavy rain, sandstorms, and sub-zero blizzards. Its optics are coated with a self-healing nanopolymer layer, which repels dust, salt, and micro scratches are material now being considered for ultra premium paint protection films in exotic cars. Lamborghini's design team has already begun testing the polymer for the 2027 Huracate Tilde inverted exclamation mark and successor, calling it liquid armor. In terms of strategic military implications, the US laser advantage is enormous. Lasers have no ballistic trajectory so there's no arc to calculate. There's no propulsion trail for enemies to detect. And because the system uses satellite triangulation and infrared tracking, it can function even when GPS is jammed. Imagine that kind of precision applied to vehicle navigation. Tesla's 2026 self-driving chip A codenamed Fall Connects A uses a mil-spec anti-jamming processor derived from the same shielding tech that protects the Helios X during electromagnetic warfare. Let's talk about cost. One shot from the Helios X costs roughly $1 per burst, as opposed to $1.5 million for a missile intercept. That's the future, lower cost reusable defense systems that are smarter, faster, and environmentally cleaner. This philosophy of efficiency over brute force is driving the next wave of vehicle innovation, especially in the luxury and performance F segment. Now, let's pivot to a new car reveal that directly showcases this military tech crossover. The 2026 Ford Mustang Interceptor F is inspired by tactical stealth design. Its body panels use radar absorbent carbon composites, and its lighting system mimics the laser pulse modulation of the Helios X, allowing adaptive beam shape for better visibility in fog, snow, or pitch black. The car's interior HUD uses a military grade holographic interface that projects a 3D navigation grid derived from drone mapping AI. That's right a your car now sees the road like a $200 million warship. While the Helios X was initially developed to counter drone swarms and hypersonic threats, 
its ripple effect across engineering, materials science, thermal physics, and AI is being felt across the globe. Countries like China and Russia are scrambling to develop similar directed energy weapons, but as of 2026, no other nation has reached the power output or system efficiency of the U.S. laser network. There's even talk of adapting Helios X modules for low Earth orbit satellite defense, creating a space based shield against ICBMs and enemy reconnaissance assets. The U.S. Air Force has already conducted tests with stratospheric drone platforms carrying miniaturized versions of the laser, aiming to develop the first truly global laser defense grid. What does this mean for the average driver or car enthusiast? It means that the technology being built to defend nations is also building the most advanced vehicles ever conceived. From faster charging batteries to ultra-precise autonomous navigation, from self-cooling driver trains to armor-like paint, the gap between military hardware and daily driving is narrowing and fast. The 2026 era of high-performance technology isn't about just horsepower or top speed anymore. It's about power control, heat mitigation, energy efficiency, and AI integration. And thanks to military innovations like the Helios X Ultra Laser, we're not just building smarter weapons, eh? we're building smarter, faster, and more efficient cars. So, whether you're watching the skies light up with pinpoint beams or watching a silent F rip down the highway at 230 miles per hour, Remember both are powered by the same principle, the future moves at the speed of light.